feedback is so amazing. Thank you for the 1,000 subscribers. I'm always so happy to bring you guys more content. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Tracy. For this week's episode, I'm going to be thrift flipping this polo. So it's a Michael Kors Heather Blue polo. And I wanted to combine it with just a basic white t-shirt so I can have some accent color within it. And I'm thinking of doing like a really cute sporty two-piece outfit. For the skirt, I actually made a pattern. So I will have this available in my Etsy shop for you to purchase. And again, I apologize because it is a size small. I don't know how to create patterns. I promise I will learn. So don't worry. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Grab your polo and mark 12 inches above the hem. I regret not getting a men's extra large or large polo because I would have had a lot more room to work with it, but it's fine. I added a white t-shirt and did some cute accents within the skirt, so yeah. Mark all the way around and then just cut away. Now that you have two separate pieces, you can put the top part away, we'll need it later, and just grab the bottom half. Match your side seams so you don't have a seam on your center front fold when you're cutting out your pieces. And I'm just lining up my pieces to the hem, the center front fold, ignore my blank patterns. All the directions are written on them, so just cut and follow that. I take panel two and cut two pieces out and I'm lining up the hem to the original hem of the polo. I end up unstitching the hem on both pieces but if you have a long polo just don't forget to add three quarters of an inch to that hemline. Pattern piece number five is pretty large so that's why it's on two separate pages. So just cut the dotted line off one of the pieces and then match them to the other and just tape it together like so. And now you have one big pattern piece. And this is the back panel so it will be cut on the fold. So take the other side of the polo and just line it up. And I'm cutting exactly on the hemline and I'm adding three quarters of an inch. After adding the three quarters of an inch seam allowance, just cut on that new line and just follow the rest of the pattern. I'm taking my white t-shirt and cutting it apart and I'm taking panel four and cutting it twice just because my cotton t-shirt is a little bit of a lighter weight fabric compared to the polo fabric so I just wanted the weight to be equal and this is just optional and I'm cutting out four pieces of panel three just so I can have two layers like I said my cotton's lightweight and don't forget to match up your grain lines. And the way I match up my grain line is I just make sure the fold of the fabric is lined up on a straight line. And then I take my ruler and make sure the straight line on my pattern piece is parallel to that line. After cutting out all of the pattern pieces, I just go back and do any seam ripping to the panels that have hem stitching on them. So like panel 5 had a little bit and 1 and 2 still had a complete hem on them. I wanted to unstitch all of it so I could have a really nice hem to finish myself at the end. After seam ripping those hems, just take panel one and unfold it and we're just going to sew the front skirt together. 
So take panel two and three and lay everything out. So that's what the whole front of the skirt's gonna look like. Grabbing panel three and two and pin those two together and repeat it to the other side. And you can just use your regular sewing machine to sew a quarter inch, but I like to use my overlocker just because it's easier for me, but it's not necessary. After sewing panels three and two together, place right sides together on panel one and just sew that princess seam. Time to sew the back pieces together. So take panel five and open it up and take panel four and place right sides together. Pin it all down and take it to your sewing machine and sew a quarter inch. After sewing the back piece, take the front and the back and place right sides together and just pin the side seams and sew a quarter inch. You can just use your regular sewing machine, just do a straight stitch. These fabrics don't fray as much, so it's not necessary to clean finish the ends. The skirt is all sewn. As you can see, you want to make sure you line up your side seams very well because you get a really nice line with using two separate colors. Now it's time to hem the skirt. So I just overlock my ends and you want to fold up three quarters of an inch and pin. After pinning the hem, you want to take it to your sewing machine and I'm using the double needle just because these fabrics do stretch a bit so this is the best finish to use. Stitch a half inch away from the hem. Now it's time for the waistband so I'm just cutting out a seven and a quarter by five inch white band and this is cut on the fold. I actually made pattern pieces for you. And you want to cut two pieces out, but you only mark one piece with the buttonholes. With one piece of the waistband, you want to fold it up an inch and a half and just pin it down. Now flip it over to the right side of the fabric and it's time to mark the buttonholes on the pattern piece. I mark it for you, so just follow that. I found my center line and marked that. I went up a half inch from the fold and marked a buttonhole a half inch apart from the center line on both sides. Now it's time to take it to your sewing machine and just sew down your buttonholes. If you need a tutorial on how to use your buttonhole foot, just watch my first video, I go over step by step. After sewing them, seam rip them open and you have really nice buttonholes. I overlocked my ends but you don't have to. Take the other waistband and pin right sides together, just open it all up and sew down a quarter inch. After sewing the waistband together, turn it inside out and fold up an inch and a half all the way around. Don't forget to press everything so it's nice and clean, so I just pressed the fold so it would all stay in place. Now it's time to attach the waistband to the skirt. I hope this makes sense, but take the raw edge and just pin it to the waistband so you're matching the right side to the wrong side if that makes sense match up your side seams and center front and just pin it all the way down after sewing it a quarter inch all the way around you want to take your waistband and 
just fold it down on top of that seat and cover it. Pin it all the way around and you have a really nice clean finish waistband on the inside and the outside. So I'm just taking it to my sewing machine and using the double needle and stitching as close as possible to that fold. And after sewing the waistband down, I take my half inch spaghetti drawstring. If you need a tutorial on spaghetti, just watch my previous video. And I'm just taking a safety pin and using the push and pull method to get it all the way through. Now you have a really cute sporty skirt and with the ends I just trim and knot them so they look nice. And now it's time for the top. I apologize. I didn't press record when I was cutting the top so I'm sorry but I just went ahead and took all the measurements for you. Add a quarter inch to all those measurements so you have enough for seam allowance. And I just fold it back and use a double needle stitch and I do this to the armholes and hem. After hemming the armholes and the hem, I go in a half inch at the front hem only and connect it to the bottom of the armhole so I get a diagonal line and that is going to be my new side seam. Cut on that new line and fold three quarters of an inch and pin that down. This is going to be our tunnel for our drawstring. And fold down three quarters of an inch on the back side seams as well. After pinning everything, take it to your sewing machine and just Stitch a half inch away with your double needle and don't forget to back tuck. After sewing the top, make some spaghetti. I made two pieces that are about 21 inches long. And you want to just feed it through these channels you just made. So take one strap and feed it through the bottom of the front panel and then feed it through the top of the back panel and now you can tie your sides. Knot your ends and repeat to the other side. And this is the final look. I really love it. Thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.